Hey everyone, this video is going to start a little bit different. It's actually going to start with an update to the video you haven't even seen yet. This video is about how Meta is removing the direct cast option from their existing Quest headsets. Turns out, as of yesterday, January 11th, 2024, some people who have had that feature removed have reported that it is showing back up. Posts like this started popping up on Reddit. At this point, we don't know if this is temporary, if this is permanently back. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, continue to watch the video. I'm sure you're going to learn something. If they ever permanently take away the direct cast method, at least you'll know how to get around that and still be able to have your friends and families watch what you're doing in the virtual world on a TV. Let's get on with the video. Connected. Hi, I'm Joe from A Smarter Home Canada. Over the holidays, I picked up a VR unit. Myself and my family are having a lot of fun with the unit. One of the things we really like to do with this is when one person is playing, we can watch it on one of our big screen TVs just to see what they're doing. Give them hints. A great example is when my wife and I are playing Colossal Cave, we try to throw each other hints. What the h does this bird want? However, this week it's been announced that the cast to Chromecast function is being discontinued. They're saying it's buggy and they say they have a better way to do it, which is through their app, which seems very limited to me. So in this video, I'm going to show you the old way or the current way we cast and how Meta wants you to be able to cast in the future. One way you're going to see is very simple. One way is not. All right, the first method we're going to do is the way we do it right now, which is just straight casting directly to the Chromecast. First step, put on your MetaQuest 3. Turn it on. Select whatever application you want to cast. Click the MetaQuest button. Then simply look for this button. Click on it and select whatever device you want to cast to. It's that simple. And then in a couple seconds, it's going to start casting to your TV, your Chromecast device, your digital display, whichever one you want it to go to. Like a great Canadian band said, that's it, that's all, that's everything. The Tragically Hip were a Canadian rock band that formed in 1984 in Kingston, Ontario, and became one of the most popular and influential bands in the country. They released 13 studio albums, one live album, and one EP and won 17 Juno Awards. Their music blended alternative rock, roots rock, and folk rock styles, and featured the distinctive vocals and lyrics of Gord Downey, who often sang about Canadian history, culture, and politics. The band's final tour in 2016, after Downey was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer, was a national event that drew millions of viewers and celebrated the band's legacy. Downey died in 2017, and the surviving members announced in 2018 that they would no longer perform under the name The Tragically Hip. I don't know why they messed with it. Personally, I think this is just maybe giant corporation dick measuring contest. Am I allowed to say that? The second method, and the method that Meta wants you to use going forward when mirroring your screen, is a two-step process. First, you have to go into the MetaQuest app on your phone and hit the cast button while your set is on. It takes about 30 seconds to connect, and that's going to allow you to see what's going on in the MetaQuest 3 headset on your phone. From there, you've got to take the helmet back off, but don't take it off your head because that will put it into standby mode. Then you want to shrink down the MetaQuest app, open up your Google Home, and find the device that you want to cast to. In this case, for me, it is my Chromecast main TV, and I'm going to hit cast my screen. In a second here, my screen is now being casted that way. I'm going to go back to the MetaQuest app. And from here, you can now see everything I can see on the TV. And when I go into a virtual world, that gets cast to the screen as well. One thing I do want to point out, you do see right here, there will always be a record icon showing on your screen with this new method. That, once again, is another problem with this. Ugh. 
as you can see, between the two methods, the original way is much better than the new way that they want going forward. Do I see why Meta wants you to use their internal app? Yes, I said it right there. It is because they want you to use their app. Every time you open it, it's got your eyes on their product. And by having the direct cast button bypasses their own product. Is it a good idea? In my opinion, no. But I'm not just some guy sitting in a corporate office trying to justify his job. Uh, what, what would you say you do here? Anyways, if you liked the video, great. Click on the like and subscribe. Hit the beaver once it shows up during the end credits. I'd really like to see you back here. If you didn't, I don't care. I'm just an old Canadian guy in his new Canadian home trying to make it a little bit smarter and having some fun while doing it. Thanks for watching. Well,